All right, one more mini unit before we turn to the first uh, ism, idealism of the semester uh, in the uh, transition uh, session here. Uh, philosophy is hard, education is hard, seeing the connections in many cases between philosophy and education is also hard. So what we're doing is we're making a transition in part from philosophy theory to educational practice and to help that transition there's one thing that I think is useful uh, when you're reading a philosopher of education or an education theorist who is philosophical or someone who's strategic about education you're thinking through the issues is if you can identify what their top educational value is, that is to say what they think the most important thing education is or should be about, in many cases that clarifies many of the other strategic decisions that they're making or the implementation decisions that they're making in the rest of the educational theory. And it also can tell you something very significant about where they're coming from philosophically. So what I want to do is talk through uh, a few of the major answers to the question of what the top educational value uh, can and should be. Now there are many such things that we want education to do. Uh, if we ask what students should learn uh, or, or be able to do or what we want uh, them to achieve by the time they end their educational uh, system formally, well, the, the list can run to hundreds and if not thousands of things here. So what we're looking for is a very abstract, uh, top-level uh, organizing value. And on my reading of the history of uh, the philosophy of education, history of educational practice, there have been six such values. Um, knowledge, method, skills, individuality, socialization, and morality. So I've got them written on the board here. And all of these should sound attractive to you, uh, but what I'll be interested in is not just are they important, but if pinch comes to shove and uh, we're up against budgetary constraints or we're up against uh, 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 time constraints, which one is going to give prefer, uh, give, be given precedence, rather, uh, if we can't do both or all in any given uh, set of time or in any given budget? Now, the re rationales for each of these are fairly straightforward, and you've no doubt uh, heard all of them, so let me run through those fairly important, uh, quickly, rather. Knowledge. Uh, knowledge is important. By the time we uh, are adult human beings, there are thousands and thousands of things we need to know. Uh, we need to have them at our fingertips. Uh, we have to be able to uh, have them stored away in our, our, in our memory, uh, on, ready for, for instant recall. Uh, and so uh, education in large part then is a matter of, particularly for a cognitive being such as we are, uh, stuffing as many facts and as, as many items of knowledge into students as, as we possibly can uh, so they're, they're ready to use them by the time they, they leave. The uh, point about method uh, is to say that the, uh, the fabulous apparatus that is the human mind and the human brain, uh, that it works by specific methods, it has uh, certain powers and certain flexibilities uh, that are, are possible to it, but students uh, don't automatically know how to do this. And so if we're going to uh, have students have the full power and flexibility of the mind by the time that they are, they are done. Uh, knowledge is important, but it's also important for students to know how to use their minds, how to observe, how to classify, how to uh, do various analytic and synthetic techniques and so forth. Uh, and in many cases, the, uh, the, the, the particular items of knowledge that are important in this generation will become outmoded or outdated by the next generation. And so what we want is not to uh, uh, stuff students' heads with knowledge that might become outdated, but rather give them the, the tools so that they can discover the new knowledge and the new variations uh, in, the, in the next generation. Another uh, uh, emphasis, a uh, top value is skills. In many cases, educational practitioners will say that the important thing is not necessarily knowing uh, that something is true, but knowing how uh, to do something. Uh, or that uh, uh, book learning right, or theoretical knowledge may have a certain amount of value, but it's not as important as actually being able to operationalize that knowledge. So that students should learn by doing. Uh, they should know how much more than know that. Uh, and so the behavioral, the existential, the practical, the, the action-oriented approach to education is, uh, is, is important here. We want students to grow up to be individuals, to have their, uh, their own minds, to know their own minds, to be able to form their own beliefs independently, not simply to believe what we told them. 
uh, uh, not necessarily to disagree, but nonetheless to, uh, to, to, to disagree when appropriate in their judgments and to, to uh, if they do agree with us, to agree for, because they've done so by their own independent mind, to form their own tastes in music, to make their own choices about who their friends are going to be, what their careers are going to be, and so forth. So we want to create someone who is a strong individual uh, and, and so able to do so. We want students to have strong self-esteem, right? For example, self-esteem is a value that comes out of the, uh, the individuality tradition. We want students also to be social. Uh, uh, in many cases, uh, important things that we do in our lives as social animals involve uh, knowing how to get along with other people and work productively with them and so forth. Uh, we have to be diplomatic, we have to be civil, we have to be leaders, followers, co-workers and so forth in the appropriate kinds of situations. All of these things are very complicated and so uh, if we think of uh, many of the important things that we do, our friendships, our families, in most cases uh, the way we do business, we do it in a social environment. We're also citizens, we're part of a, or of a country, we vote, we might uh, participate more directly in the political process ourselves by running for office uh, and so learning how to be a full member of society with all of the the, uh, the traits and skills that are necessary are, are important here. Morality is uh, another important one here. Uh, obviously when we mention individuality there's a kind of morality that's built into that. When we mention socialization there's a kind of morality that's built into that. But it's also possible to abstract out issues of, of morality, uh, being able to reason through uh, complicated moral situations, to deliberate and debate about uh, moral issues, to have uh, self-discipline and certain traits of integrity and being proactive and persevering, right, and so forth. All of these moral traits can apply both individually and in a social context. So some uh, educational philosophers and uh, practitioners will emphasize a more generic approach to morality as an important, if, uh, if not the most important uh, uh, issue in, in education.